What's up guys, Ray from Barbecue Man LV back with another awesome recipe for you. This time we're gonna be doing seared ahi tacos. So these are gonna be really fun guys, it's a real easy recipe. Basically we're gonna hand cut a quick slaw, we're gonna dress that slaw with Profiles Asian dressing. This stuff is delicious guys, we're not gonna overdo it, we're gonna kinda of toss it in there to give it some flavor into the slaw. We're gonna to top our seared ahi with some of Profiles Everything Bagel Seasoning, which I know you always see it with sesame seeds, but with a little bit of extra garlic and onion and a little bit of kick here, this is an added bonus to those ahi tacos. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Uh, as soon as we get the slaw made, we'll head over to the stove, sear that ahi, get the tortillas ready, and last but not least, we're gonna to top it with a garlic cilantro cream sauce that we made. So yeah, let's get going. First thing we need is gonna be part of this cabbage. We're not gonna use the whole thing, so you're gonna see me kind of quarter it, um, and I'm just gonna use a part of it. So let's get our part we're gonna use right here. And I'm just gonna try to keep a fine chop on this, that way we can put it in the bowl and dress it nice and even. So other than coleslaw, in this I am gonna be putting some green onion and a little bit of radish. So I, I kinda like the touch that the radish gives this and you'll see it'll kinda change things up once we, uh, once we get it tossed and everything with the dressing. This is a really good cabbage. Get that green onion. I've already trimmed the tops. So you wanna keep them kinda fine. You don't want giant chunks of green onion in there. I like to keep them relatively thin. The green onion will give you a little touch of brightness. Like I said, not too much. Green onion can overpower stuff pretty quickly. Then we have our radishes. Same thing here, we wanna keep them relatively thin. Take your time on these guys. If you're not sure, you don't cut a whole lot of stuff, just take your time to keep them thin. You can even keep these out into the side and you can dress your tacos after with the radishes, which I may do today. So we'll just dress the coleslaw with the cabbage and green onion, and then we'll use these in the tacos as we plate them. All right. So we'll put those to the side for now and we'll come back to those in just a little bit. All right, so the top of your salad here is gonna house your green onions, all the stuff you just tossed in there. And you feel free to dress this up. You wanna put some purple cabbage in there, you wanna put a little bit of carrot, you can definitely do that. Uh, I'm keeping this one pretty simple and I'll always go through and just check to see if any of that center part of the cabbage was in there and I like to pull those out. Just that way you don't have any of those you know, funky mouth feel uh, when you're eating your tacos. So then we're gonna bring in the Profile Zesty Asian Vinaigrette. Give it a good shake, you know, if it's in your pantry, on your cabinet, sometimes it'll settle a little bit. So give it a good shake, and we're gonna dress this with just a little bit of that. And we're gonna toss it. Make sure we coat everything. And again, you don't want this too covered in dressing. I mean, some people like a lot, but I'm telling you, the fish is gonna be the star of these tacos. This stuff is just gonna add some flavor and kind of the base. We're gonna actually place this in the tacos first before we do the meat and other sauces. All right, so now that this is all mixed up, we're gonna head over to the stove and get a sear going on that ahi. All right, guys, so here we are. Your pan needs to be hot. That's something I want you guys to remember when you're gonna go ahead and sear an ahi. This is a very quick cooking fish. We're gonna maybe cook it for a couple of minutes on each side. This pan should be screaming hot. Uh, I had mine on medium warming up when we were prepping, but I may kick it up to high right now because I know we're gonna be putting this ahi in the pan. So we'll get it up to high. Again, you want this pan really hot. It should sizzle when we put this ahi inside. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in the pan. That's that sound you wanna hear. You wanna hear a nice, nice sizzle. Ahi is usually best served, obviously, at about a rare to medium rare in the center. It should, essentially, it's gonna be a raw middle. Uh, that's how we like it. You can serve it, you can cook it more, 
if you cook it all the way through to what some folks would consider done, uh, it, it can sometimes dry out. Ahi is really not meant to be served cooked all the way through. So uh, this ahi, just, just so you know, was marinated for about an hour to two hours. So I just used um, you know, a, a general, I actually used a gluten-free soy sauce uh, with a little bit of garlic and pepper and just general seasoning, nothing crazy. Um, but you want to go ahead and let it, let it marinate. It gets that flavor through the meat. That way when it is cooked and you have that pink center, uh, you're going to have a lot of good flavor in there as well. So it's been about a minute. We'll give it another 30 seconds to 45 seconds. We'll flip this over and we're going to let the other side sear as well. And here we go. Let's get that other side seared. Beautiful. Nice seared crust on the top, guys. You're gonna see some of the pepper and the seasoning there will kind of help build that crust. And now again, we're gonna give this about a minute to two minutes on this side. You can visually watch on the side of your ahi. You can kind of watch where it cooks to. And then once we pull it off, we're gonna let it rest for about a minute to two minutes at least uh, before we cut into it. We're gonna warm up the tortillas while we let this ahi rest and then it'll be ready to slice and dress with its everything bagel seasoning and place in those delicious tacos. All right guys, so tortilla is pretty simple. Uh, we're using just regular corn tortillas. I like to use my little flat grill I have here on the stove top. Just throw three of them on there. I'm gonna flip them by hand. I know it's crazy. Uh, my wife gives me a hard time and tells me she doesn't understand how I burn my hands off. I love to cook, I cook a lot, so I'm used to flipping stuff on these hot grills. Uh, so I'll kick the heat up on this so we can get these warmed up. As soon as they're warm, I'm gonna meet you back at the cutting board and we'll put these together. All right guys, so we've got this beautiful seared ahi steak here. Tortillas are ready to rock. We've got our coleslaw here, the radishes, my secret sauce, the everything on the bagel, or everything bagel seasoning. Uh, and some sriracha. That's just because I'm a sucker for hot stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sliced up and then we're gonna start getting this stuff plated. So here we go. We let this rest for just a couple of moments. I'm gonna slice it, put it back on the plate and then we'll start the tacos uh, and putting them together. So let's take a look at our ahi. Just like that. You want a beautiful pink center you want this ahi to be just as you see it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up so we have our slices for our tacos. All right, so now that we got our ahi all sliced up here, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tacos built. So let's go ahead and put the cabbage down first. Again, this is dressed with the Profile Zesty Asian Vinaigrette. We're gonna lay that in there. Don't be, don't be shy with this stuff either. Go ahead and fill them up. You want them to be a hearty taco. The vegetables are definitely gonna fill this, this shell up for you and make these really, really stand out when you, when you eat them. They're gonna give you a good contrast as well. Now, let's get some slices of ahi in these tacos. You know, the worst thing when you get a taco and there's really not any meat in it, or you, you know, you get a fish taco and you get no slices of, of much in there, these tacos here are not gonna leave you needing more. But the thing to keep in mind, it is fish. It's a nice delicate fish really, but it can handle a lot. Um, and so knowing that when you cook up this ahi, I mean, even this, this whole steak fits right into your, your program so you can eat you know, you, you can eat plenty of this fish and uh, you're, you're still on program. So I'm dressing these up with the radishes. Again, they're real thinly sliced. We don't want the radishes to take everything over. Once we get our radishes in there, we're gonna dress it with our garlic cilantro sauce that we made. All this sauce is, guys, because we're not using any fat in this taco yet. We did use a little bit of avocado mayo. The avocado mayo is very low in calories doesn't have a ton of fat, so we didn't use a whole lot, uh, but it's avocado mayo, lime juice, cilantro, 
and three cloves of roasted garlic. That's it. Go ahead and get this sauce on there. That's it, guys. You can dress it with some sriracha, some other sauce. Me personally, before I jump into one of these, I will be putting some sriracha over it because I like it spicy. Super easy, guys, super delicious. These are your seared ahi tacos. So we put our, our sauce on there, guys. They look delicious. And then the last thing I wanna do is hit them with a little bit of the Profile Everything Bagel Seasoning. Throws that sesame seed, garlic, kind of a nice good mix of stuff on there. So you don't wanna to go too crazy, but you wanna hit each one. And those are your seared ahi tacos. Thank you.